so I fell off. Especially on my birthday weekend. I fell off. I've gained 35 pounds in three weeks. Really, it's like two weeks plus, not even three yet. 35 pounds. Some might say, how is that possible? Is that possible? What were you eating? Everything? I don't know. I mean, I know what I was eating, though. But what I truly believe is that my body's built differently. I'm able to lose a lot of weight fast and gain a lot of weight fast. And that's just what I know. And when I water fast, I drop a tremendous amount. I could drop four pounds in one day sometimes when I water fast. I think even one day five, okay? And when I eat a lot, I can gain up to four pounds in a day. Sometimes five. One time I even saw seven. I don't know if I believe that though. So that's the status. My cumulative for 2019 before December, let's say before December 13, was 135 pounds lost. Now I'm at 100 pounds lost. So a few things we need will be a meat thermometer. We want to cook this to 170, 175 degrees. That's a good temperature for poultry. We got our Reynolds oven bags. You know, I use this for Thanksgiving, so I just got one left over. It's turkey size, but it does the fit, that's for sure. So this is just to give you an idea of the duck I used and the price per pound. All right, so as far as seasonings go, um, I'm gonna be using two new things that I've never really seasoned with before. That's ginger and nutmeg, and adobo actually too. I've never really used adobo. And then as far as herbs go, we got uh, sage and rosemary. Time and I have this Italian herb blend. Okay, so that's what I'll be uh, putting on the duck, a little bit in the duck, and we'll see what we come out with. And I, I really do think 2019 was the best year of my life. I, I think it really was. I know I definitely had the best birthday. Most of my birthdays don't go so well, but this one, I took control over it, and it was it was good. It was dope. It was a nice chill vibe. It was a, you know, it was a Yusuf type of birthday. I enjoyed it. Beginning to end, literally beginning to end. From the time I woke up to the time I went to sleep, it was dope. I got a lot of love. <sighs> yeah, it was dope. All right. All right, so I decided to, um, I decided to make my seasoning more like a rub. That I think it'll be easier to spread it amongst the duck and inside of the duck. So I added a little bit of apple cider vinegar. This is not the one with the mother. And it's just normal apple cider vinegar. But, um, and then we're gonna add our adobo. Okay, we got a little bit of, this is pretty much our salt, so. You know, I'm gonna put a lot. Of course, all of you want to actually make it to the finished product. I'm gonna add some of our Italian herb blend. And uh, this Italian herb blend has oregano, basil, garlic, thyme, rosemary, onion, parsley, savory, marjoram, and sage. So that's a little bit of everything. But we're still gonna add a little bit of those things because we want a little bit more potency. So we add some sage. I love rosemary, so to me you can never have enough. Well you can, but man. Some rosemary in there. I'm gonna add some thyme. Okay. 
probably put some thyme on top of the duck too. And then we're gonna add our ginger and our nutmeg, which are new seasonings, which I don't normally use, so. Um, gotta get it grounded up nice. We'll add some ginger in there, okay. I don't know how strong it is, so I don't want to add too much. Then we'll add some nutmeg. And nutmeg smells pretty good, so I think it should balance, balance out any of the salty. If it comes out too salty, shall balance it out. So we'll add some nutmeg in there. And that's pretty much all the seasoning that we'll be using. I'll add some um, olive oil into here. Okay. Have some extra virgin olive oil. We'll add some of this into there. Okay. Now it's a nice thick rub. And um, good. Now we have everything we need to make our rub. We'll mix that up a bit. Okay, mix that up a bit. So for the holidays, um, I really just really enjoyed myself. I did what we call in Nigeria as chop life. You know, I, I didn't hold back. I did hold back in a way. It's not like I ate like three meals a day, all nice meals or anything like that. But at least like once every two, three days, sometimes back to back days, I went to a very nice restaurant and ate food from different cuisines from Ethiopian food at Sheba's to um, Brazilian steak at Chima's um, to even Chinese food at Pecan and Gourmet Inn. Um, and these are all, you know, pretty top notch places. And I enjoyed myself, and I, I ate good, I felt good, but I do wonder, like, did I do it all in the span of two weeks because I feel like I deprived myself for the past seven, eight months, you know? But listen, if I lost a total of 100 pounds, but at one point it was 135 that's still a victory to me, you know? It's not like I lost 135 pounds and I gained 135 pounds back. And being that I'm starting 2020 with the fast, I'm, I still got work to do, you know? We're going to lose a total of 300 pounds. I believe in myself. My approach for weight loss involved stats data collection um i don't know why but i find that when i track my weight when i track what i eat when i count calories count macros count my steps count my sleep just count everything and i look at it it's very easy for me to say i know how to do better when I don't track everything, I tend to, like, cheat myself in a way where I'll eat something and I'll say, you know, <laughs> if I don't know how much calories this is, then, you know, I feel good about it type of thing. But when I have to put, enter that thing into my fitness pal, you know, and I say, oh, shit, I just entered something that's 1,300 calories and I'm already at my target, I know I can't go and eat something else without suffering the consequence of weight gain. So that was pretty much my strategy for weight loss for phase one. You know, I have a three phase plan. Year one is phase one, year two is phase two, year three is phase three. Phase one was the initial weight loss. That was pretty much the learning phase. Me learning how to eat, what to eat, what products to use, and what works for me, you know, what's the most relevant and what works for me. Phase two 
is learning taking everything I learned in phase one and making a very easy six month plan for the beginning of the year, taking those stats and making a very easy six month plan for the rest of the year. And phase three will pretty much be weight loss surgery as well as building up muscle, so bulking. I'll do a little bit in phase two, but phase one and phase two, has, I have a strict focus on just weight loss. I just want to really focus on weight loss because I, I find when I combine too many things at once, I tend to lose focus on one thing or the other. So if I just attack weight loss, then I think I'll do well. So phase one is weight loss. Phase two is weight loss. Advanced, we'll say. And then phase three is toning up. All right, so everything's ready. Now we're gonna put it inside the oven to do its thing. The oven is set to 350 degrees. We're gonna let it go for about an hour, 30 minutes. Then we're gonna take the temperature. My goal for 2019 was to was um to lose 150 pounds. Originally, my goal was to lose 100 pounds, but I believe in setting goals that are achievable but hard to achieve. So I said in eight in eight months, I want to lose 150 pounds. I would have hit it if I decided that on my birthday weekend, it's all the way through all this festive period of December and even Thanksgiving. If I said I was going to just stick to my dieting and not enjoy, not indulge, or if I indulge one plate, you know, a set like hard limits, I would have been fine. And I would have hit that limit. But I wanted to enjoy life a bit, you know? One thing I noticed is that while I was fasting, when it came to food, I was kind of like a zombie. It's not that I didn't eat and explore, it's just that I didn't partake in social eating. And social eating is a big part of life, you know? Especially my life. I like to go out and enjoy food with others. So I did a lot of that in the past month. And I enjoyed myself. And I don't regret gaining 35 pounds because I weighed myself almost every day. I knew what I was eating. I knew the nutrition. I knew it wasn't keto, intermittent fasting, water fasting. Like I knew it wasn't a part of my game plan. I threw out my game plan and I said, I want to live. I want to enjoy the rest of 2019. Why? Because I'm a human being, you know? And sometimes I just want to chop life. Sometimes I just want to enjoy life. And eating is a part of my life. I can't deny that. And I will always have weight management problems. Always. But because of what I did in 2019, I know I now know how to manage my weight. So I started this year at 475 pounds. 475 pounds. As of now, I'm 471 pounds. But after today, I'll probably reach nearly 475 because I had some wine. I had some um, wafer sticks, a whole pack. I'm going to sip on some Johnny Walker, smoke a cigar. I had some Parmesan crisp. And yeah, I had some duck and veggies. You live and you learn. I know that I can do hardcore dieting, hardcore um, food management. I know I can do it. I know I can put it in practice. I feel good about 2019 because I can smile and say, but guess what? What? I actually lost weight. I lost over 100 pounds in 2019. I'm happy for myself, you know? There was a time in my life where I was consistently gaining 20 pounds a year. So based off my math, I just went back five years in time. As of right now, I'm 32, but I feel like I'm 27. You, you feel me? And by the end of next year, by God's grace, I'm going to feel like I'm 22, maybe even 19. Maybe even 14. I think when I was 14, between 13 and 14, I weighed about 192. 
That was the last time I saw 100 on the scale. Wonderland, as we call it already. I'm going to reach Wonderland in 2020. That's my resolution. That's what I'm committed to. Keto fasting and prayer. We're going to do it. We just got through Christmas. We still got New Year's. I don't really celebrate New Year's, so I don't plan on eating crazy or doing anything. Maybe I'll pop a bottle, smoke, smoke some cigars. I don't plan on smoking anymore after New Year's, except for if I'm on vacation um, or if I'm at a social event. I'm not going to be too strict on myself, but I do got to watch out because of, you know, asthma. And in general, you know, you don't want to smoke too much. This year has been in 2019. One year. I took on cooking. You know, um, I have a new hobby now, cooking. I can really throw down. I don't know why I ever doubted myself though. I know that when I was young, the food that I made. I didn't know how to make it in quantity. I knew how to make enough for myself because that's always what I did. But I never knew how to make enough food for everyone to enjoy. I picked up wine and liquor and cigars. Some people say that's a bad habit. I don't believe that. You know, I believe we're human beings. We're all going to die one day. There's things that you can learn from everything in life. It's just all about moderation. I haven't been a moderate cigar smoker. I just enjoy it way too much. It's just something that it does for me. Weight wise, I'm at 370 by the end of 2020. Or at some point in 2020, I want to weigh 180. That's my goal is to drop 200 pounds next year. Let's just say 200. I know it's like 190, but let's just say 200 pounds next year. And if we're gonna set a high goal, let's say 225 pounds. So that'd be like 155, which is the recommended weight for someone 5'7". So a male that's 5'7", should be around 155. So that, that's the goal I'm gonna set. If I do hit 155 though, I'm gonna bulk back up with muscle. So we're all done, as you can see. I tested the meat in two different spots for temperature, and it all looks good. So I know the turkey doesn't look that good, but trust me, it tastes very good. It was juicy, it was tasty, it was absolutely incredible. Um, I just called it a turkey again. I mean a duck. I don't know why I keep calling ducks turkeys, but I guess it's because I just baked the turkey on Thanksgiving. So, to recover from my slide so, in December, let's go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna kick off 2020 with a 30 day water fast. Now, I believe in setting goals that are hard to reach. That's why I'm doing 30. I've done 10, I've done 12, I've done 14, I've done seven a couple times. I've done a three a bunch of times. So I'm going for the behemoth, you know? I wanna see if I can go 30 days without eating a single piece of food. Just water, salt, potassium, magnesium. Wow. Apple cider vinegar, that might be lemons, bird I've had. zero cal stevia, and that's it. Some people might say, "Oh, that's not a true water fast." I'm not. I'm not going for any medal or accomplishment within any community. This is just for me, and that's the way I like okay. to water fast. Um, and the results show. So, yeah, that's how I plan on handling it. So after the month of January, it's going to be very tempted to binge. Because after you you come off of not eating for three or more days, you tend to want to indulge, which is what I experienced after Thanksgiving, after Christmas, after my birthday, 
after uh, New Year's, you know. So my plan is to go into it's February. Juicy. It's very juicy. I'm doing three day water fast, so I'll eat every three days. And very juicy. When I refeed, very nice and succulent. After that seventy two hour mark, mm. I'll refeed with ketogenic food. Food that'll keep me in ketosis. Mm. And I'll try and eat between 1,800 to 2,400 calories during my refeeding periods every three days. I'll probably do that up to like the middle of February. And then I'll go hardcore keto, intermittent fasting, eating between 3, we'll say between 3 and 7 p.m. Under 1,800 calories. And then we'll figure everything else out after that, after the month of March, the final three months. And a video that will be coming soon is about weight loss surgery. Um, after I lose so much weight, especially up to 200 pounds, I'm going to have to get excess skin removed. And I think if I can get to 180, the amount of excess skin that I will have will be about 25 pounds in weight. You get what I'm saying? So I'll be doing many weight loss surgery reaction videos because I need to prepare my mind for what's to come. Um, I'm, I'm the type of person that's very squirmish. I don't like, um, I don't like blood, guts, gore. It's just not my thing, I don't like it. So, I'm gonna start watching them and reacting to them live. I just have to figure out how to set up reaction videos, how to get the picture to picture. Or however I'm going to do it. I just got to figure that part out. So I'll probably react to a few of them. You know, see how I feel about it. So yeah, that's just some of my thoughts. Your boy, the American African. So yeah, that concludes my video. Thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all have a lovely day. And as always, this is your boy, the American African. Stay positive, keto, fast, and prayer. We out.